Welcome back to Find It in Fergus Falls. We're here with one of our great community members, Patrick Hollister. Patrick, welcome to the show. Welcome back to the show. You've been on in the past. But yes, I have. Well. Thank you. Great to be here. You bet. Now, you're um, here today to talk about a, a meeting that the community should be very engaged in and aware of and encouraged to attend. So let's talk a little bit about that. It seems, you know, bicycle friendly. We don't see a lot of those this time of year, but now's the time to start some planning. Right. Uh, November and December may seem like an odd time of the year to start talking about making Fergus Falls a more bicycle friendly community, but uh, that's exactly what we're doing. We have a meeting on Wednesday, December 5th at City Hall in the Council Chambers. Uh, starting at 6 p.m., we're going to be talking about how to make Fergus Falls a more bicycle friendly community. Um, two things have been happening. One is we've got a lot more people biking now in Fergus Falls uh, than in the past. I think everybody I've talked to agrees that there were more people biking on the streets this summer than last summer and yep. more people last summer than the summer before. So it seems like every year we've got more and more people biking uh, here in Fergus Falls, which is a great thing. The other thing is um, I'm with Partnership for Health and probably a lot of you watching have heard me talk about things before. but. Um, Part of our mission is to improve the health of Fergus Falls residents, and we're very much into promoting biking. We want people to bike and walk more uh, to get more exercise. And uh, we have a special opportunity here, thanks to the Bicycle Alliance of Minnesota, which has agreed to give us some help uh, in the process of preparing for and submitting an application for official bicycle-friendly community status okay. with the League of American Bicyclists. Nice. The League of American Bicyclists is America's uh, oldest and best known uh, bicycle advocacy organization. I think they go all the way back to 1912 or something. And um, they have an official certification program where cities all across America can apply uh, to become an official quote unquote bicycle friendly community. And uh, so we're very excited about the opportunity to get some help from the Bicycle Alliance of Minnesota, which is sort of Minnesota's local chapter, uh, get some help from the Bicycle Alliance of Minnesota to prepare Fergus Falls to apply for bicycle friendly community status uh, and hopefully get it in 2013. Fantastic. Now, I, I'm sure there are a number of folks who may have uh, bicycles going under the Christmas tree for some of their kiddos. Like you said, more and more people are bicycling. Uh, you know, Fergus Falls was fortunate enough to host the uh, the bike MS tram again this year, which brings in you know nearly a thousand bicyclists um, each time that they're in town. So we want to make sure that it's not only friendly for those coming to visit, but also for our community members as well. So Patrick, can you touch on a little bit what they're looking for? What makes a community bicycle friendly? Well, the League of American Bicyclists will be looking at several things. Though they will be when we submit our application, we need to describe our infrastructure. In other words, what do we actually have on the ground to help bicyclists? Uh, Fergus Falls has a lot of good things. We have the Central Lakes Trail, of course. Yes. We're the northern endpoint of the trail. Uh, uh, we've also, for example, got the new Tower Bridge going in, which, uh, I mean, it's completed now, but uh, um, we've got the new Tower Bridge, which actually does have uh, a facility for bicycles on it. Um, so that's also a very good thing. Also, uh, the city, with help from the uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau and Sunrise Rotary, uh, put in 12 new bike racks around town last year, which was great. They're the um, green hoop things that you probably see around downtown and, and there's one in NP Park and and in other locations uh, so we've got the new bike racks we've got the uh, bicycle accommodation on the new tower bridge uh, we've got the bike route signs uh, around town uh, so we, we've got some things uh, already in the community of course we need more and uh, uh, Partnership for Health is working hard with uh, the city of Fergus Falls and also with uh, Ottertail County to try to get more uh, infrastructure but it and uh, more progress, I'm sure, will come in the future on that front. Uh, but also, it's not just about infrastructure. It's also about education. It's about encouragement. It's about information. So, for example, the Central Lakes Trail Organization, they do a great job uh, producing trail maps uh, for people that are interested in using the Central Lakes Trail, not only where the Central Lakes Trail is, but also stops along the way where they can get food or beverage or other things. Um, and what I'm hoping for is that Fergus Falls can also produce a map like that, but specifically for the city of Fergus Falls. And if we get working on that, even if we don't have that completed, if we get working on that, uh, that will impress the League of American Bicyclists. They'll say, wow, Fergus Falls is really serious about this. So, um, so, that, so there are education pieces, there are information pieces, 
uh, law enforcement, driver education, bicyclist education. You know, obviously with more and more people biking on the streets here in Fergus Falls, we want the bicyclists to act responsibly in regards to the motorists, but we also want the motorists to act responsibly in regards to the uh, bicyclists. Uh, forgive the pun, but it's a two-way street. And, uh, and so we, we, we want everybody to be aware of what the rules of the road are uh, and to respect each other on the road. Well, and as there are more and more bicycles too, I think it's very important for motorists to be aware of not only bicyclists, but pedestrians as well. Exactly. And uh, so Fergus Falls has a lot of sidewalks, especially in the core area, a lot of pedestrians uh, crossing the street. Um, in some cases where there is no sidewalk, walking alongside the street. So we obviously want all the motorists to be aware of pedestrians and aware of bicyclists and be on the lookout for them. Uh, you know, and, Actually, we're getting into a positive cycle here, which a lot of communities experience, which is the more people are biking, the more conscious the drivers are that they need to look out for the bicyclists. And so it actually becomes safer as more people bike. And yep. the same thing's true for walking. I, be I would believe that. So now there's a meeting coming up on Wednesday, December 5th. Who should attend this and why should they go? Anybody interested in making uh, Fergus Falls a more bicycle friendly community, anybody who's interested in seeing more bicycle infrastructure in Fergus Falls, uh, seeing better bike, bike education in Fergus Falls. We had our first bike rodeo in about 10 years this year. Anybody that that's great. interested, it was. And thank you for helping to promote that. Um, anybody who's interested in working on uh, this year's bike rodeo, we're going to have another bike rodeo in 2013. Uh, anybody interested in, in promoting biking, we, we would love to have you. If, you. if you're somebody who loves to bike yourself, obviously, we'd love to have you too. And uh, once again, it's Wednesday, December 5th uh, at the uh, City Council Chambers at City Hall. That's at the West Entrance, uh, 6 p.m. Wednesday, December 5th. Uh, we would love to have you. And if you happen to be watching the show after December 5th, because I think this is going to be shown until uh, December 7th, it's not too late for you to get involved, even if you missed that meeting. Uh, feel free to give me a call, Patrick Hollister. I'm at 218-329-1809, or you can email me at patrick.hollister at co.clay.mn.us, and Hollister has two L's, just like the clothes. So, uh, so give me a call or send me an email if you want to get involved and you're unable to come to the meeting. Well, Patrick, thank you so much for joining us. Keep up the good work on uh, making Fergus Falls, you know, more friendly, more active, and... Uh get everybody involved. Thank you very much, Lisa. You bet. We'll be right back after a short break.